everybody welcome back to the channel and thank you for clicking on the video today's conversation is going to be about twisted metal possibly making a return so sit back relax and let's get into it In this game, you drove around in all kinds of different vehicles, with different characters, each with their own unique special abilities. And the whole time, you were searching for power-ups like missiles and other diabolical weapons to wipe out your friends or computer players to be the last vehicle standing. I wrecked a car. All this hit a quite crazy crescendo that equaled a poetic and Mad Max S type of game. But a few days ago, Tom Henderson, who was a writer for Dual Shockers, shared a very blatant tweet teasing Twisted Metal for 2023. I'll post his tweet up on the screen now, and you can clearly see the mascot for Twisted Metal, Sweet Tooth, and just the year 2023 posted in the picture. We haven't had a Twisted Metal game in years, so it's understandable that fans of the Long Lost series got hyped when they saw this. Ah! Well, I'll be double dog damn! I mean, we all thought Destruction All-Stars was going to scratch that itch, but at the end of the day, the game fell flat and died almost immediately with nobody still playing the game. Stop! Stop! He's already dead! But getting back to the point, after this tweet went up and fans got to talking and discussing among themselves, even the godfather of Twisted Metal himself, David Scott Jaffe, he had to let everybody know how he hadn't even heard about this news. This is what Jaffe, creator of Twisted Metal, had to say about this. If it's true, I would be very, very hurt that PlayStation didn't ask for my input at best, or at worst, at least let me know it was happening. But no, I don't think this is true. <laughs> so it's looking like even the creator of the game doesn't think this is true. I would side with Jaffe on this normally, but seeing how involved he is with the gaming community on YouTube and on Twitter, and just looking at the direction he has taken, I don't think Sony would reach out to him. I say this not in a negative way, but I feel like Jaffe has become too raw and uncut for Sony to want to be involved with. Especially in this day and age, where you say the wrong thing and you get sent to the shadow realm. Restrict has been destroyed! Questions will be asked after you've been as communicated, but maybe Sony is working on a game, maybe not. I personally think if they are, 2023 is a little bit too early and I'd like to hope that PlayStation is putting a lot of love and care into the revival of this franchise. I would love to be able to control my guy Axel and dominate the battlefield once again in Twisted Metal, but this time in beautiful 60 frames and with online multiplayer. This game can be amazing if done correctly. New weapons, new special character abilities, and great maps. Just make the game good and let me know when I need to give you my money, Sony. And that, ladies and gentlemen, ends today's lovely conversation. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this Twisted Metal rumor. It's been fun and it's been real, but I can't say it's been real fun. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.